Holding. <clears throat> I just received this inverter Eastern Power. I assume I pronounce the name right. If I didn't, excuse me. And I heard something rattling <clears throat> inside. So I took out all the screws. On the bottom panel <clears throat> just to check what was it the box it came in was all beat up if you notice the box was all beat up and what was in the box uh, this temp sensor and this manual <clears throat> I bought this to replace my EP ever that went bad <clears throat> anyway it has some screws here free here free on the other side and it has two at the back one day one day to get this top panel out to get this panel out it has four screws in total when I opened this what i found was that the fan is loose or was loose inside the blade goes here so i'll try to repair it <clears throat> i think it has a clip that goes in that i'll try repairing it and see but they said you could return it and i'm in the caribbean as a matter of fact i'm in saint lucia and for me to return that i have to pay more than I paid to clear it. Because <clears throat> we don't get our goods direct. It has to go through a courier. Then it has to be checked by customs. It has some red blue on it. Which would hold That's it. Now I assume underneath this sticker there should be a circlip.
if I can get it out without ripping it up. I should apply some heat. No, it doesn't have anything, <clears throat> so which means that oh, it's held in by magnet, it's held in by magnet, so the knocking about is what disconnected I didn't see anything on uh, this inverter on YouTube There isn't much about it, but after I purchase it, I read one of the reviews on AliExpress and one of the buyers said, that it's a clone. The thing is that with most of the inverters, <clears throat> the uh, clones, they don't have a name. And that's one of the things I was really looking for. Some of them just have MPPT, no name, nothing. And I didn't want, when somebody asked, what type of inverter you have? From to say, uh, MPPT. You know, they would look at you as, you don't know what you're talking about. But that's what most of the inverters are. No name, nothing. Let me put some power <clears throat> to that. Let me show the lugs. It has some beefy lugs. That's a TEM sensor and that's a RG45. I don't know why it has two pins instead of the normal RG45 pin. When I'm getting ready to put that downstairs, I'll go into more detail about it.
it's a uh, 12 <clears throat> 12 volts, 24 volts, um, 36 volts, I guess you <clears throat> I guess you can see the display um this is it for this uh, video when i'm getting ready to hook it up i'll go into more details i was just concerned about the noise the rattling noise i heard inside but it turned out to be nothing much So this is it until the next one. Goodbye and thank you.